Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It came up during a meeting of the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee on a pair of unrelated bills. Interior Assistant Secretary Esther Kiana used the occasion to remark on Puerto Rico's economic bailout and how Guam and the other territories should be part of any provisions that ease the burdens of the earned income tax credit or Medicaid. This would equalize treatment among all of the territories and the states, as well as take steps to prevent a crisis in the other smaller territories based on unequal treatment. Senator Warren's remarks came later when making a point about how it might be different if Puerto Ricans had full voting rights. She used as her example a Guam resident who moves to the mainland or even Europe. So this U.S. citizen from Guam can vote in California or can vote in Italy. But if she moves from Italy back to Guam, she still can't vote there. You know, I just have to say, this is absurd. Four million Americans live on American soil and can fully participate in our democracy, but only if they leave home. At their homes on U.S. soil, all of their representational rights disappear. This kind of second-class status is not how our government is supposed to work. The four million people who live in the territories are not the subjects of a king. They are Americans. They live in America, but their interests will never be fully represented within our government until they have full voting rights, just like every other American. The Massachusetts Democrat is a prominent advocate for consumer and social rights. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.